Good now, right now, wherever and whenever you are, this is Daryl for Modern Work Mentor. I am unboxing Copilot Pages. Can you unbox software? Mm, bit difficult when the feature appears on your screen and you just want to try and use it. So I'm kind of cheating. I've, I've tried a few things. We're going to step through Copilot Pages and when I say unboxing I mean we're just trying things out. First reactions, trying to explain it as we go. And I have, I have a list. I have a list, so we're going to work through it. First of all, what is what is Copilot Pages? Well, um, the feature was talked about in Wave Two with uh, Microsoft's recent announcements around Copilot, and it is about uh, when you're prompting and coming up with results from your prompts, you're able to put them into a page and then share them. So first of all, you can put them in a page, and you've got somewhere that you can go back to and use those results, but you'll also be able to share them with people. So um, let's let's actually go through this rather than just talking about it. Um, there was a prompt uh, where I have prepared earlier <laughs> and I have copied into um, my clipboard so that you don't have to see and watch me type, but um, it is about asking about a meeting. I can recall a meeting that I had with a couple of people. It was about a topic, and I wanted to just sort of summarize that meeting and, and find out what was in it. So we'll run this prompt. So prompting, this is nothing new so far. It's going to do some magic and, of course, look at my meetings, look at the content, come back with, uh, yes, suggested um, suggested meeting that it's related to. Now it is a meeting I recorded, it's a meeting that related to a PowerPoint. Um, I also took some meeting notes, so you can see some references there. So that's great. Now what's new here is the Edit in Pages button. I'm not going to click that yet. Let's, let's just go through another response to this prompt first. But that is the Copilot Pages, which we'll be able to bring our content over. Now, I want to drill in a bit more uh, on the points in this document because really the, the point here I'm trying to drive to is can I leverage some of that content from that presentation and, and let's sort of rework it for another, another meeting, another webinar with my two colleagues. So I'm running through a summary of, of what's in that presentation. Right, so I've got key topics that's really good. Um, I've got some other prompts there that I can uh, dig deeper into uh, and I can certainly use this uh, as a starting point. Now, uh, what I want to do is use Copilot Pages at this point. Um, I'm going to edit in Pages. This is the magic. Right, so here we are. It has opened up a panel on the right-hand side. It has brought the content from that prompt over into this Copilot Pages area. What has it picked up on? Well, first of all, um, it has grabbed the first few words of the prompt. So as I unbox this, um, what are the key points? As a title, that's not a great title for my page. Um, I, I'm not going to find that easy to refer to in, in other places, but we'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, it has brought through, let's just... Um, Oh, and it's it's actually it's given me a little like response here as I've clicked out to put it into pages. You can find your page here, and is this a clickable thing? Let's just close this page. I'm just toying things around. This is why it's called unboxing. Oh yeah, okay. So I can click into that little button and it'll open it up. Okay, and if you want to add other responses to it, just click edit pages. All right, so. Um, th this is unscripted, of course. I haven't tried this. Let's say that what's the main takeaways from Copilot Success Kit? Let's see if uh, if it comes back with some interesting things in here. Now, this is content within the slide deck, uh, and it's definitely covering things around what's in the kit. So I can apparently shortly when the button appears add this as additional content to my copilot page let's see how this works out um, edits and pages yes if i scroll down a bit so it did add that um, and i can see where it's finished off the previous prompt and where it's added that additional content Look, there's a lot more to explore here, but we'll keep moving along in terms of unboxing uh, the like. Um, so what do I need to use, or what do I need 
for it to be used. Um, Copilot requires, of course, a Copilot Microsoft 365 Copilot license. Uh, and you might not know this, maybe you do recognize it, but it's using Microsoft Loop in the background. So you are going to need to have access to Loop. Uh, now generally, uh, if you have Copilot, then you also have the license to be able to start and use and create Copilot, uh, rather Loop workspaces. Uh, this is using a Loop component though, so you don't actually need anything special there, just your, your base sort of Microsoft 365 or Office 365 license. Right, so we've got um, the page, we're uh, adding content to it. Uh, what I find interesting here is also that you, you also have the references. So this was one of the strengths really with Copilot is that it references where it finds this content and uh, it has actually brought that over into the page. So if I over over um, this one here, uh, it is referencing the slide deck and where to find that. Uh, if I go a bit further down here, it's also, looks like it's referencing the, yeah, it looks like it's referencing like slide number 60 <laughs> from from that particular thing. Um, so yeah, it's really good to be able to, to dig in and, and show that. Now, this is a loop page, uh, sure. In Wave 2, they just talked about it being it is Copilot Pages, but it is all the goodness of Microsoft Loop. So um, as I haven't shared this yet, and I will do that soon, but if I wanted to uh, change up a few things and uh, maybe add in some, some headings as well, uh, I could um, even put in some <laughs> various different reactions or comments into the content. Uh, so uh, we're going to need to look into this closer and continue right so just just to show you it's a loop component a loop um, piece of content what are we going to do now we're going to share this with our team members um, yeah yeah let's do that so uh, I'm going to use this share button now there are two options here with a component I can share just the page link and that means that people are going to come through to this page and open it just like it was a word document or a PowerPoint that's fine, that's cool. But I wanna use copy as a component. So that way I can take this link, drop it into a chat with Laura, for example, who is in, um, was in this previous meeting, and we can continue that work uh, live. So let's do that. Let's, uh, we've copied the link to this component. Uh, let's go over to our chat with Laura um, and see what we did earlier. <laughs> but I'll paste this in loop component. This is again where that, that name of the file and the name of the page comes up. It's, it's grabbing the first few words of that prompt and using that as the title for the loop page. Um, if I send this off now, then this is uh, the loop page. It's, it's the content that is right there when it's live. Um, it is me having a chat with Laura. And if we go over to Laura's experience, um, and open up, uh, where are we? This is Laura here into the chat. Expand that up a bit. Yeah, Laura's in there live. No problem. So Laura can uh, jump in and change a few things or she can uh, highlight stuff. You might see here as I uh, hover over the contents, right, that it is uh, annotated to show that Daryl had this content, he, he drove this, looks like he, he created this content from a Copilot session. So it was Daryl and Copilot working together to, to create this content in this loop component. Uh, and of course, if I just uh, change something here, uh, Laura here, whoop, then I'll switch back over to, and that's Laura, active and collaborating within the loop component or the Copilot page. Um, great, look, this is this is really good. Now, let's just go back again to our Copilot page experience here. Uh, one question that came up, of course, when Copilot Pages was launched was, well, how do I get back to these pages? Where do I find them? And uh, now that I'm experiencing it, uh, that it's not just a recording or a presentation from Microsoft, um, I can see that up in the top right-hand corner of my Copilot chat session is a pages icon. So if I've edited it in a page, let's just close this uh, chat history, um, then I can click open page 
and this page is attached to my Copilot chat session. Uh, we saw earlier, or just, just moments ago, that I can go back to my chat history, of course, and uh, let's see, I think it was this one here, that was my previous attempt to, to do this before uh, unboxing. Um, yeah, and it's there, I can find it, and, um, and if I was to edit page, then I could uh, find that page as well as part of that chat history. So that's a nice way to be able to find your history, your co-pilot pages that are attached to it, uh, and uh, continue from there. But because it's a loop component, because it can be part of that loop, loop ecosystem, <laughs> then um, how might we put this into a, a space where our team can continue to use it? Uh, you know, Laura, she could go back to this chat find it, continue to collaborate on it, but, but what, what could she do that would actually improve this? Well, just like we, we can with, um, with, uh, with any sort of loop components and, and the like, uh, I'm going to click on the title of the loop, and it's opening up now in Laura's uh, browser. She's signed in there. Uh, it's opened up the loop app. Um, it is now in recent pages, and um, I can go ahead and add that to, let's just say, Project Radio, for example. Always been told about new stuff. Uh, so there it is. Let's open it up. It's now part of my Project Radio workspace, and our team can continue to work on this and uh, start things uh, there in terms of improving the presentation for the next run. So a good way to be able to bring that content over into another place where the rest of the team can, can help and get involved. Um, what else have we got here? Well, I mean, there's other things, of course, we can do if, if we were using this as a loop component. Um, if this was going to involve, I guess, let's say tasks, for example, we could do a forward slash task list and then start assigning tasks for people to be able to work on the content. So I could say, Research new prompts for Copilot, and then I could assign that to Laura, right? Because Laura is uh, she has access. I've shared it with her, so there you go. It's a task, and because it's a task list, it'll appear in her planner experience uh, and to do. Um, very good. I've shared it with the team. I've added it to a workspace. I've talked about the page name that it's a bit, eh, okay. Um, what else? Oh, right. So the other thing that we can do from our Copilot page um, is there's this button here, go to pages. Now I clicked on this. Let's see what happens. Interesting. So the idea I think with that is for those of you who aren't used to using Loop and the Loop ecosystem, you haven't kind of got your uh, understanding or head around it, um, you, maybe clicking that page is supposed to bring you through to where uh, your pages are. Now what it has done is it's taken me to the Microsoft 365 home page uh, where I can see my documents and things that I've recently worked on, um, but it hasn't really zeroed in on pages in particular. There's nothing really in that experience that tells me this is all about the co-pilot pages that I have created. I can, as I see uh, in that list, I can see the, the, the loop page, the co-pilot page, it's the same name, but nothing again that really connects me to that. And maybe it's only there because I shared it in a Teams chat. I don't think so. I think it's a recent recent loop page, co-pilot page that I've worked on, but there it is. Maybe we will see another category, another filter or something here that will make it easy for us to identify all the co-pilot pages that we've been working on. But for now, uh, that is, uh, it's, just, it's just my recent documents in Microsoft 365 Home. Uh, look, there's uh, a lot more, I think, to explore, uh, but that's a great first uh, unboxing, uh, and I've covered enough, I've waffled on. Uh, I'm going to continue to look at features and things like this and unbox stuff. Um, I think uh, the usual pattern when we unbox something is first impressions, then we start using it for a while, we come back and we rate it and we talk about it in more depth. So if you are interested in hearing a bit more about this and how it is working in practice, 
and even if you want to discuss your experiences too as you're starting to use Copilot Pages with your team and potentially that introducing you to Microsoft Loop, then yeah, you know where to find me right here on this channel. You know what to do, subscribe, like, etc. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.